Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to a brand new video and The Flash looks like it's going to become the biggest flop in the movie history. Not just for Warner Brothers, like we're going to look at something here, but literally in Hollywood history. So let's jump straight into it. So this is coming from the direct. The Flash to become worst a box office flop in studio history. Andy Muschietti's The Flash is currently projected to become Warner Brothers' biggest flop in studio history. Following an overwhelmingly positive word of mouth marketing campaign from Tom Cruise, Stephen King, DC Studios co CEO James Gunn called it the greatest superhero films ever, or one of them. It's not, it's not even in the top 10. The Flash is bombing at the domestic and global box office. Starring Ezra Miller, Michael Keaton, and Sasha Kelly, Warner Brothers' latest DC film earned less than $100 million at the domestic box office to date. Worldwide, it's made $245 million at this moment. The budget was $220. Add on $150 for uh, promotional and all that budget. So you're looking at about, you know, $370 million dollars. In total, at this moment, that's what they're trying to say. Stumbling into the third weekend, The Flash is losing over 1,500 North American movie theatres, making the chance for miraculous recovery even lower. The Flash may become Warner Brothers' greatest failure. Not just Warner Brothers, but Hollywood history. Box office analyst Luis uh, Fernando recently observed that if The Flash's poor performance keeps up, it will lead the film to lose Warner Brothers more than 200 million. Fernando mentioned that The Flash's hefty $150 million promotional budget may not even be recouped by box office earnings, and Warner Brothers would have lost less money if they released it to streaming or not releasing it at all. So where would this stick up against other massive Warner Brothers flops of the past? Obviously, during the uh, 2020 and 2021, Warner Brothers decided to release all their films day and date in the cinemas and online. That didn't work well for him. Obviously, people like myself here in the UK, if we didn't see him in the cinema, where else were we going to see him? Because they weren't on our TVs or any of our streaming platforms. They would have gone to piracy sites. Go on uTorrent, go on all these other places, because if they were online day and date, you had 4K picture quality online at midnight. Literally, as soon as it was, it was uh, released, Download it, there we go, done. Put it online for other people to watch. They lost millions. And it wouldn't surprise me if they actually lost billions, because we're going to have a look at that now. So, directly impacted by it, Wonder Woman 1984, which is an abysmal movie anyway, lost an estimated 137 million. The Suicide Squad, which was met with great critical reception, I actually enjoyed that one, I thought it was actually a good film, lost 120 million. Straight away, that's $257 million just on two films. But then, two films which never needed to be made, The Matrix Resurrections and Space Jam A New Legacy. Matrix Resurrections lost $130 million, while Space Jam lost $111 million. Straight away, you're looking at over nearly $600 million just off four films alone. Then it goes on about Warner Brothers. They also suffered a couple of pre-pandemic flops during the 2010s, which they did. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, which I actually enjoyed that again. Charlie Hunnam, Guy Ritchie's film, lost the studio 153 million. Then you had Jupiter Ascending, which lost Warner Brothers 120 million. Oof. It's insane how much money that all these did. And then it goes, for comparison's sake, the Flash would be crushing loss for Warner Brothers, a historic failure, even when adjusted for inflation, akin to Disney's John Carter catastrophe. Now, with all of this, the way people have gone on, and a lot of people, they're factoring the budget, and they're also factoring how much money the promotion was for The Flash. A lot of people are saying $220 million for the uh, production budget, which is actually coming from... Paul uh, Osterberry, who is the production designer on the film. So $220 million there. Then they're saying it was $150 million for the promotional. That's $370 million. Just for that alone. 
you know, which is absolutely insane. So the rule of thumb that a lot of analysts go by is basically you got the production value, but then you times that twice to get the break even rule. That's what they're saying. So we're looking at about what? 680, 690? That's 680, 690 million dollars just to break even. It's made 245 million worldwide. At this moment, at this moment in time now, remember, not in the not in a couple of weeks' time when the final, when it finally goes out of the cinema, but at this moment in time, you are looking at over $400 million loss for Warner Brothers at this moment in time, which would make it the biggest box office bomb ever. Because you got John Carter, which at this moment in time is the biggest adjusted for inflation as well, $255 million estimated loss. So The Flash would be the biggest in movie history, which is crazy to even think, because you've got all these other ones by here, which if you look at them as well, because The 13th Warrior, that was one of the biggest films to be a box of his bomb. Antonio Banderas, John McTiernan. So, you know, the production budget was between 100 and 160, and it only made 61.7 million worldwide. But, you know, you've got so many other ones. You've got Johnny Depp's The Lone Ranger, Mortal Engines, Cutthroat Island. you got Sinbad, Strange World, which was, again, 2022. That only came out last year. But again, no, that was uh, Disney's one, which, again, just flopped so bad. Battleships, you got Tomorrowland, Pan, Mars Needs Moms, King Arthur's there, Turning Red, Jungle Cruise, which kind of got, I really enjoyed that, I must admit, I really did. But you got the Avengers of Pluto Nash, Eddie Murphy, Dark Phoenix, the X Men movie, Final Fantasy, The Spirit Within. There's just so many things on here. The Terminator movies, as you can see, you know, 2016's Ben Hur, which again did not need to be made because literally, you got the Charlton Heston version, which is the greatest one going. But you got that. So literally, The Flash is going to be the biggest box of his bomb ever, if it's more than $250 million loss. They is just nuts to even think about. And then it goes in to say about Blue Beetle and Aquaman 2. Now, with Blue Beetle, it's not going to make $500, $600, $700 million. You're probably looking... 300 400 max for blue beetle because not a lot of people know the character know the franchise for that and the history behind it the trailer i was like you know what yeah the trailer looks cool you know the trailer looks kind of fun a kind of film that i'd go and watch in the afternoon if i was bored that's that wouldn't it and i'm blowing up in white for some unknown reason so i do apologize for that there but then he talk about aquaman and the lost kingdom it's not going to make a billion like it did for the first film. And they're not going to put this one to max or scrap it, which they say by there, because that is a far-fetched idea. But it says there's still likely some audience for this one, one bigger than The Flash. I'm not too sure because it has Amber Heard in. This is the thing with Aquaman 2, because I think they're going to have to try and do what they did with The Flash and not have Amber talk about the trial, talk about Johnny, and basically just have her going, ah, oh, hi, yes, I'm in the film, I'm going, and that's it. But she's a narcissist, she's going to be there, and she's going to be like, no, I'm in this film, it's me, it's amazing. Guarantee it. Which is going to lose it quite a bit of money. But that's what we got, ladies and gents. Let me know what you think about this down below, because this is insane to see. And I will say this, The Flash's problem is Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller is the reason The Flash is bombing. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see you all soon.